No music on this one. I just want to get right into it and talk some about a few other tools. I want to talk about the um, uh, split tool. So interactive split, I don't like. 2012, don't like it. I like the split polygon tool. So if I go in here and I hold down shift and I hold on to the right click, I'll get this menu and I can go to split, interactive split, uh, not, uh, split polygon, normal. Um, this right here is really good for an assortment of things, connecting to edges and creating more edges. Um, so here I have a face and if I want to add extra details to things, I can kind of go through and click on the edges and place these. Now, this is good for kind of modifying and editing geometry more so than this because a nice split edge tool would work just fine here. Let's hit enter. Right. Um, but if I needed to like change some things or adjust some geometry, like if you look, I have an edge loop here, I have an edge loop here, goes around the head and the face here. Um, I have edge loops here. Um, I can turn my edge loops. So this one goes through here and I can adjust these sort of things. So I'm going to take uh, these points here, I want to kind of extrude them in. I'm going to kind of create a nostril here. And that will require, of course, more vert pushing, but but I can kind of, I can, I can redirect a lot of these aspects here. If I don't have like enough, uh, I have edge loops up here, but maybe I want to kind of curl them into one another. You can start doing things like deleting your edges and kind of placing edge loops in a different way. So, oops. There we go. Uh oh. Uh oh. So I don't want that. Oh, object mode. Slicked. Split. Alright. So this has created a triangle, but then I could also correct that by coming back in here using the split tool and I add a point here to here. Now I've got a quad again and I can kind of adjust these now. And that will change everything. See, one, two, three, four sides. That does change everything about how this face is working now. Now I've kind of changed the flow. See, it was circling. It was circling through here, but now I've changed the flow. So now it kind of pushes out into the nose, which will kind of like connect the noses and make them run a little more together. Um, so it's a really good tool for inserting all sorts of edge loop sort of adjustments um, really making the whole process flow a little better. Do I want this here? Maybe. Maybe not. Um, But now I have that option, right? I'm gonna keep pushing this deeper in. The problem here is that I'm making some some issues with too many little five star pieces, so I probably just wanna stick with this this one and kinda move it on back as it were. You know, because I've changed this whole edge flowing type system in here. We'd want to vert tweak some more stuff here anyway. But um, so another tool I want to kind of touch on is uh, the edge slide tool, right? So um, offset edge loops. If you select this, remember I put this in here a moment ago. I can. Oops, sorry, that's the wrong one. 
the burp, 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 selection of edge loops. Ah, uh, here we are. Sorry, slide edge loops along path. So I double click. I click that, and I can double click. See, it says drag with middle mouse to slide. I can select something. Edges, preferably, and middle mouse slide it along between these two points to kind of control it. Get a little more pinch or something in here if I want to. You know, like taste this edge loop, edge loop here, and maybe expand it. Right. So now I can kind of give the impression of like a bit of horn action divoting up. You know, and I wasn't happy with where this was sitting, so you know, again, that's just select the edge itself, and you can. go back to the slight edge loops and kind of adjust them. See? So I can put it back here and kind of squeeze it in a little. Get this kind of nice little shape that I can build into this, right? So it's all about like shape control. Um, and it's, it's a pretty good tool. Uh, now let's say I go back to this edge loop here, the one that I made. And I don't like that being there anymore. Um, I have some of these tools here, Spin Edge, which is under Edit Mesh. All this stuff's under Edit Mesh, right? Um, insert Edge Loop, Offset Edge Loop. Um, this is Spin Edge Forward and Spin Edge Backwards. That's what these two here are. And again, Control Shift and clicking on them will put them down in your custom bar, which I like. I have to have my custom bar because I don't want to have to go through the menus every time I do something. It's a pain. Um, and then uh, slide edge tool right here. See, so these are all under the edit mesh. But this piece right here is sitting here. I can spin it. If you notice, this right here puts it back to where it was originally. So you could just use this tool to spin your loops about instead of necessarily using uh, the split tool. But I like poly split too, f tool for certain things. It's pretty good for certain things. Mostly in this case, it was good for this edge right here, because otherwise, how are you going to get that edge in there, right? So, just checking my edge flow. Not 100% pleased with it. It does keep the nostril kind of contained in itself then. Anyway, so there you go. Um, there's some thoughts on a couple extra tools uh, to play with, you know? And a lot of these do a lot of really cool things, but these ones are pretty good for an assortment of things. Um, and I guess one more, one more before I go. Uh, this one right here, this move selected vertice to smooth shape. Um, if you go up to Edit Mesh, you can go down to this um, let's see where where does it normally stay that's why I like putting them up here because I hate going through this process of looking every time um, average vertices right, there it is so um, and, and now I got a bunch of them see how I got so many of them Let's go ahead and get rid of one of these. Take them. Um, oh, uh, I just used the tool, by the way. Let's take this, and I'm going to middle mouse. I'm going to drag it on over to this little trash can and dump it. And I want to dump this one. I don't need all these extras. So now, if I've got my nose here selected, I can hit this, and it will attempt to smooth and average out those vertices, which means that it kind of spaces them. So it's, it's kind of good for things like maybe um, this eye here, right? I've already arranged all of this, but it's nice to maybe uh, <clears throat> maybe use here. See that? Kind of average them out a little bit more. And it evens. It runs a little algorithm to even them out. Now, I kind of like them how they are, right? But it's not terrible there. That's not too terrible. But I kind of like them how they are. Um, and you can also kind of tone it down. So it's nice. If you grab like a couple of spaces, it will average those out. See? Look at that. Nice averaging process. 
really nice for kind of evening out geometry, although it also just totally flattened this curvature. So be careful of that. It just likes to average and tighten things up. But it can be of good use. So that's another one that's nice too, is the move selected. So there you go.